1938, Orson Welles adapted War of the Worlds for radio and created a nationwide panic with his all too convincing live broadcast. But it was George Powell who brought War of the Worlds to the screen for the first time in 1953. Here in Hollywood, at the world-famous Chinese theater, there's a huge turnout at the Turner Classic Film Festival for a screening of a restored print of George Powell's War of the Worlds. Introducing the film are two familiar experts. Please welcome Craig Barron and Ben Burt. The film features a very special opening. Mars is more than 140 million miles from the sun, and for centuries it has been in the last stages of exhaustion. That artwork was created by an artist named Chesley Bonestell, who worked in films but also did visionary art of a more positive nature. War of the Worlds opens with a prologue over a series of paintings done by Chesley Bonestell, which takes us through the solar system. And as we see these worlds, and they're done to a real accuracy as to what they thought those places looked like. War of the Worlds is a really good example of uh, space art taken into movies. So that opening sequence in War of the Worlds, establishing Mars as the place from which this invasion is gonna come, is very important and has to be completely believable and credible and realistic. Why did they not go to Pluto? Why did they not go to Venus or Saturn? Why was it Earth? And it's a, just a great way to introduce you into the storytelling process of that movie. 